Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Make sure you click that subscribe button, thumbs up the video, and most importantly, leave a comment. We're gonna be talking about Superman today. Henry Cable just announced that he's no longer gonna be a part of the Superman franchise. Warner Bros. and, and DC basically said that, you know, they're focusing on a Supergirl movie that they're gonna start filming next year. And they don't plan on making another Superman movie, like, for a while. They said a couple of years before they even think about making another Superman movie. And um, it's interesting, man. You know, you know, I will say this. You know, DC's movies have been trash lately. I'm going to go ahead and say what it is. Marvel is kicking DC's ass right now. You know, DC's movies have been shitty. Like, straight shit in the booty. Like, it's been terrible. But Henry Cable, I will give him credit. He did a good job playing Superman, you know, like, see, the, the the thing that people don't understand is it's hard to make a good Superman movie because Superman is such a powerful character. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just like Spider-Man where you could just take a regular looking white boy, put a mask on him and boom, like, nah, bro, like Superman is hard to play because Superman is perfect. Like, if you really read Superman comics, like he's perfect. He's not even a fucking human. Superman is supposed to be an alien, right? He's basically indestructible. It's, you know, the only person that can really fuck with him is Kryptonite. And, um, you know, Superman is just an overall badass. So when it gets to making a Superman movie, it's very hard to make a, 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 a good Superman movie without him looking corny. And I think Henry Cable did a good job of not making Superman look corny. Now, what made the Superman movies not do well is the directing. It's the directing of these movies. Like, for example, Batman, I mean, Batman versus Superman. That movie was not directed properly, right? Um, ben Affleck did an amazing job playing Batman. The actual fighting scenes with Batman and Superman was badass. The problem is... The movie took too long to get to the action. They spent they spent an hour and 30 minutes just showing people how Batman and Superman were even going to meet each other. So by the time you get to the action, you damn near falling asleep. Everybody knows when you go to the movies, you, you high. Everybody smoke weed before they go to the movies, right? Most people, right? So if you're watching a movie and an hour that went by and they still they still showing... Um, they're still showing Batman and Superman not even in a costume yet. What the hell makes you think people are going to want to actually watch that shit? And even with the Justice League movie, the directing was terrible. So it's a lot of things going on with the DC movies that has nothing to do with the actual characters of the movie. B uh, ben Affleck actually surprised me with how well he played Batman. I think he did a phenomenal job. I still prefer Christian Bale to play Batman, though, because you got to give DC their credit. They did an amazing job with the Batman movies. All of the Christian Bale Batman movies was amazing because they turned Batman into this dark, mysterious character instead of back in the day. Batman was was not really a dark character like that. That's something that they recently did. With the Christian Bale movies, they turned him into this dark character. And Christian Bale was the perfect guy to do that because, you know, obviously if you watched American Psycho, Christian Bale knows how to play a dark character. So him playing Batman was perfect. It, it just like, it was like bread and butter. But with the Superman movies, it's just the expectations for Superman is so high. To the point where it's like, it's just like Eminem, right? Like, like every time Eminem puts out an album, people say it's trash because Eminem's done everything he can really do in his rap career. Like, he sold billions of albums and shit like that. Like, it's nothing he can really do to top himself. So, with Superman, Superman in the comics is known as a badass. So, it's like, every time you put out a Superman album, it has to damn near be perfect. Like, damn near. So, you know, DC is, you know, obviously 
their movies aren't hitting the way they want them to. So what Warner Bros. is doing right now is they're saying, listen, we're not going to focus on Superman right now. We're going to try something entirely new. And that's what they're going to be doing with the Supergirl movie. They want to focus on something new that where the expectations aren't so high like Superman is. So that's what they're going to be doing with the Supergirl movie. They're saying, listen, you know, Henry Cable did a good job. And and I, and I actually, actually like read an article, right, where they compared Superman to James Bond. And I thought that was a dope comparison because, you know, even with James Bond, right, like you kind of have to play that role perfectly because the people in the past have done such a good job of playing James Bond that you you have to be amazing at playing that role. So what they said is there was like, you know, Superman is like James Bond. After a couple of movies, you got to move on and get a new one. So that's basically what Warner Bros. is saying about Henry Cable and why they let him go. They're basically saying, listen, you know, Henry Cable did his thing. We shot three movies with the guy. Obviously, it didn't do what we wanted it to do. We're just going to wipe it clean. We're going to start all over and we're going to, you know, rebuild the entire franchise. We're going to put out a soup. We're going to start filming the Supergirl movie. We're going to try something new and see how it hits. But, um, you know... DC, man, y'all got to get it together, man, because I, I know a lot of Superman fans out there are pissed because most people that I know that are hardcore Superman fans, they think that Henry Cable was an amazing Superman, like especially that first movie that came out, like a lot of people loved it. Me personally, I'm, I've, I've, I'm a Batman guy, and I think that first Superman movie, it was good. It just was too damn long. That movie was about four hours long. Like, do you know what I can do in four hours? Bitch, I can go to McDonald's. I can have sex. I go to the strip club. I could, I could goddamn uh, go to a, a motherfucking hockey game in, in the Superman movie still on. So they have to find a way to make these Superman movies more interesting. They have to find a way to make the Superman character himself actually look like Superman. Because you can't just say somebody's Superman because he's flying into all of his enemies. Like, nah, I want to see Superman beat somebody ass. Because a lot of those Superman scenes with Henry Cable was just him flying into niggas. You feel me? He just flying into people and breaking their neck. Nah, bro, you got to actually show me you Superman. Like, let me see you whoop somebody ass. You feel me? Stop flying into people. We know you can fly, nigga. We know you can fly. We know that. You already cheating because you're not even a real human. You an alien ass nigga, right? All right. So, you know, leave a comment. Subscribe. Um, leave a comment, man. What do you guys think? Do you think this was the right decision for Henry Cable to no longer play Superman? Or do you think DC fucked up once again? I'm out. Skirt.